hey guys welcome back it's your girl elaine and i'm back with another video uh today i'm just gonna restyle my hair uh it was freshly washed about two weeks ago i just took out the uh, braid out but some of those styles they're not uh they're not gonna last not for me anyway because i have exceptionally dry scalp so I have to take it down because I need to moisturize or re-moisturize. I need something that's going to actually hold and, and really feed my scalp the whole time with the protective styles and with the other styles. So anyway, I hope everybody is having a great day. My It's still kind of early so yeah, I'm slow motion but I'm grateful and each video I'm hoping to bring something different to the table as far as pieces of myself so I was hoping that in between the styling of my restyling of my hair that we could have a little conversation in the meantime and chat first thing I'm doing first thing I am using is a headband this is like a nice stretchy one something that's gonna go over this big head and help me with the style that I'm trying to recreate and I'm also going to be using a couple of black uh, band, uh, rubber bands, not the kind of band-aids. Anyway, like I said, it is kind of early. I have my coffee, so I really don't understand why my tongue hasn't woke up yet. But anyway, I'm going to attempt to put this headband on my head. Kind of like this. I don't really care if you can see the whole lace. That's really not the point of the headband. But, yeah, that's really not the point. And I also have my hair asymmetrical. Like, the weight is on one side and it's light on this side. So, I want to make sure that it's good and secure so it doesn't roll. And I basically just stopped it at a certain point on the base of my skull I think it's a good way to say it and it feels secure but not tight and just remember if you are tender headed or you're one of those type of people just don't like tight stuff don't get tight stuff if your headband is too tight and you can actually see there's more resist there's this is more resistant than this one this one I have a little bit more flexibility at the top I prefer this one over this. This is more like a pony tie. They call them clips, which I never knew. I call them pony ties, but whatever. Anyway, so now we got our headband on and it's secure. Making sure that the hair isn't puffing over the um, headband. Just pulling it down a little bit. So then I'm going to take the lighter part of my hair and I'm going to do a two strand going around my head till I get to the other side I'm so awkward being left handed I promise you demonstrating how I do things kind of doesn't always look right but I only wanted to bring it to my shoulder, which is what I did. I just started like by my ear and brought it around and stopped here. So I'm just uh, going to continue to two strand it down. This is like the first twist. I'm bringing it down. And by being uneven, you're going to have little stragglies. You probably can tuck some of them in. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And I have a lot of stragglers because my hair is so curly for one thing. So I'm going to try to see which ones I can unravel and put, you know, and then just twist it again in your hand. Gonna 
bring it up and put it into the headband. My headband actually is rolling. Okay. So that's all I did was to retwist it. And now I'm going to take like a few bunches. I don't know how many. I'm, I really don't want to count them because it's really no need. You can just do as many or as little as you want. And I'm just going to twist these. And um, bring it up again. And I was thinking, how is, uh, I hope everybody is, like, if you made resolutions, are you able to keep up with those resolutions? Because I've noticed that trend, like, I don't make resolutions anymore. I make decisions. So that way, if... I don't keep up with resolutions now. If you brought this part up, I'm just going to retwist it, make it a little bit tighter, and then bring it and place it under my uh, headband. And as you'll see, I have two rolls now. And like, you can do tucking, but if you have like shorter hair, you might have to use pins just to make sure that you're securing your um that you're securing your your rolls or I don't really know what to call them I never know what to call some of the hairstyles that I like or have seen and try to imitate some of them I come up with and just do my own style or whatever but yeah as far as resolutions I'm not good at them so I don't do them I've learned that a long time ago I would rather just make a decision so one of the decisions that I made is to make sure I'm saving money every pay or every week and we do have a challenge going on but you have to check in the videos to see which challenges we decided to go for early in the game and it's not too late it's just very necessary to make sure that you have something saved up and just be twisting it and make it tighter and bringing it up, moving this hair, here's the headband, and make sure that it's staying where I need it to stay, and this one, I don't know what happened here, I may have to tuck that all the way in, sometimes you gotta go back over it and you'll see that you might have to re- not redo it but just make sure you're talking it in and make sure it stands secure and uh because this really probably could have had a better headband that's probably what it is anyway i'm making sure that you're picking up your stragglies that's real important too and you'll see what tucking is is part of lock success hairstyles because we have uneven hair so with that in mind when you're doing your styles you just have to learn how to tuck and sometimes pin just to make your styles complete but yeah so since we're saving this year we since we started this challenge it's been going so good i am so excited about it well, i wish i wish i wish i'd have started years ago i probably would have had a different mindset about money and about saving and about you know teaching it to your children how important it is to save money and not just work and pay bills and spend you know put it up because there's always something that comes up is maybe a trip you want to take and uh or maybe it's something you need that's like a big ticket item and you might not want to wait until tax time to do it i mean that would be really good to say you know i can go purchase a computer or whatever that i need you know, just go purchase it instead of, you know, having to borrow it or do the sublending, you know, or 
rent centers, places like that. Because those type of places eat your money up. And if you really need the item and you don't have the money, that's the only way I would do that. Because I've done it over the years. But if I was able to go and price compare, and let's say you want a camera, and this isn't a need, this is a want. Let's say you want a camera, and you go to rent a center, they will charge you three times what the camera is actually worth. And if you go into a store, you can actually probably save money and get it in a short period of time rather than going in debt. I just be tightening rather than going in debt because it's not worth it it's really not right they they will charge you three times what it's actually worth and then you know treat you basically like you you don't have any other options and you really do have other options it's just we don't investigate enough okay and that was fast that was really fast don't you think and it's cute, comfortable, quick to go to style if you wanted to do something different. Let's see if I can pull it back a little bit. So that, yeah, I would actually probably tuck it through another little roll. There you go. I like it. It's comfortable, it's very light, and it's off my neck, which is um, something that I've been going for, you know, regularly. Something comfortable, something quick, and something neat. That's it. I keep moving it because I can feel it rolling. I think I will use a tighter one next time. Not too tight because this really is comfortable. It's just not, I might pin that. Uh, yeah, I'll go get some pens. But at the end of the day, I hope you like this style. Um, and remember to save money, even if it's $5 a week, $2 a week. Anything that you can put to the side and leave alone, I think it is imperative that we start talking about money. That we start talking about our futures as well as other people talk about their futures. Learn, teach yourself. Um, just examine your finances as to what you can afford uh, and just don't say I can't afford to save anything because if you work you can afford to save something with that being said I hope you guys stay in peace and not in pieces till next time